Yeah, a very unique uh, operation, uh, the conveyance itself. The reason for it is that the yard is located basically 18 uh, nautical miles uh, up the river. In this area they are more sheltered, less exposed to stormy weather in the North Sea. The conveyance happens over a period of time. That period of time varies depending on the tides, the winds, and a lot of Mother Nature cooperating with us as we head down. This is by far the biggest ship that ever sailed down the river, and actually the biggest ship that uh, Mayor of Arth shipyard uh, built. People arrive days before the actual event with their RVs and their mobile homes, and they just park and wait for the ship to sail. Our first challenge is to leave the yard basin and actually to transit uh, the lock, that tiny gate. It appears that there's no way we can uh, fit through, but uh, we will. However, the clearance is going to be very minimum. Uh, we are talking about centimeters, and uh, actually we are going to be sliding on the roll fenders as we are uh, leaving the yard basin and uh, making our way into the river. Once we are outside, we'll be picking up speed, uh, up to three knots, and we are backing out all the way down to the sea water. We will be using systems in the tag boats as well. In addition to our propulsion system, it's uh, quite tight very tiny river with uh, very curved as well, so we'll be turning all the time. It's gonna take approximately two hours before we start approaching the Wiener Bridge, the first out of two bridges that we will have to cross. The bridge will have to be actually dismantled. This is the very old railroad bridge, and uh, we'll have a clearance of two meters only. And it's gonna take uh, next uh, two hours before we start approaching the Lear Bridge, which is the car bridge. And central part of that bridge uh, will be lifted. We will have clearance of uh, around uh, seven meters uh, on each side. We'll be sailing three to four hours before we reach uh, the Ems uh, barrier, the gate at the river mouth. Passing the barrier, we'll have clearance of, uh, again, uh, around 56 meters, so that gives us uh, approximately 7 meters on each side. Still uh, tight, and we need to take it easy, slow down, keeping uh, right in the middle all the time. We'll turn the ship, and we'll be sailing on the Northern Sea in open waters, and it's a great feeling uh, seeing the ship behaving so well. It was absolutely amazing experience. Uh, I was very happy to be part of it and it was a very exciting moment for everybody and the weather was just perfect so it made it even more spectacular for everybody.